right, so now is the time to stop using credit cards. Hello and welcome to Sweet Home California. My name is Jennifer and I am sure that if you are like-minded with me, you have heard all over the internet this weekend about how credit card companies are going to start using a certain code that will identify certain purchases that um, basically will identify people who believe in the Second Amendment. Now, um, we're supposed to be protected from having a national registry, but this, in effect, is basically going to be creating that registry for the, for the government. Because even if the government doesn't immediately see that information in real time, it could be subpoenaed, it could be requested via warrant. Um, I don't know if the NSA has the ability to look in on these things without any of that, but there are people who are speculating that it may also be possible. So this is basically your credit card, um, you know, like if you if you download into Quicken or uh, QuickBooks or um, any of those online um, things where you're, where you're downloading your transactions, you will see that um, if it has categories there, it, it will populate it with, like if you go to a grocery store, it'll automatically say that this purchase was a grocery store purchase. If you go to um, a gasoline station, it'll automatically download and say that this purchase was for gasoline. And I always kind of wondered, how did they know that? Um, I just thought, well, maybe it's because I made that purchase from that store before and it just remembers it. But I don't know, that might not be the case. It might be that these um, financial service programs are getting that ISO code, that international standard organization that puts out a code that if you're a certain type of store, it has a certain type of code attached to it. So then things like QuickBooks and Quicken and these other online um, financial products will know what it is that you're buying. And it's a convenience factor because, okay, great. Yeah. Every time I go to Albertsons, yes, it's a grocery store purchase. Occasionally there might be some things in there that aren't groceries. And if I want to have that kind of level of detail in my financial program, then I can go and, you know, do split categories and things like that. But now they're going to be having that special code for Second Amendment purchases, whereas before anything that was um, from that type of store would be considered a sports, a sporting goods store. Now they're changing that and it's going to be identified and you will see then uh, once this goes into effect, when you download um, through Quicken or whatever, I'm very interested to see if it then identifies it with that new ISO code. But um, one thing I hadn't heard on these uh, other websites was um, you know how to get around it. People were saying, oh, well, just make your purchases in the next six days. Well, not everybody has the money right now to go and make a Second Amendment purchase within the next six days. But you know what I think would be a great long-term purchase or long-term solution to this would be good old fashioned cash. And I know that there's a, a number of things going on right now where governments want to get rid of cash, you know, because it's dirty, it could contain diseases and um, residue from drugs and things like that. So we just want to get rid of that paper stuff, nasty paper stuff. And we just want to go everything to be digital. And of course, everything digital can be tracked. And with this new ISO in place, that'll be tracked. But until then, these particular Second Amendment uh, places should just go ahead and install an ATM. That way, you know, people don't have to carry large amounts of, of uh, cash on them, but they go and they decide on what purchase they want to make and they just go over to the ATM, get some cash and hand it to the clerk. Problem solved, right? Let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments below and, and um, how you think that, uh, that would play out. Um, honestly, I think that people should get a discount for doing it that way because these uh, these credit card companies charge a good amount of money just for the convenience of having that. So I would say, you know, waive those ATM fees and, uh, and even give them a bit of a cash discount, right? I think that's a great idea. Let me know your thoughts. I'll talk to you later. God bless. Bye.